straight from the top. We're going to dive right into the question of the day because I know there are runners in there watching right now. All right, runners, what is your training philosophy or ideology or coaching tree that you fall under? So comment below and maybe you don't have one. That's okay. Still comment below. Let me know. And if you have any questions about training, certainly ask them down below. I'm very curious. That's the question of the day. Okay. Five days, folks. Five days. I have taken five days off with no running, no exercise, just chilling out. And it's amazing. It feels good. The legs feel good. The plantar fasciitis feels better. It's not perfect, but it feels 90% better. It's almost there. And it, it was basically a good warning that I need to make sure I take care of it a lot moving forward. And moving forward over the next 43 days, you, you YouTube are about to come on a journey with me as I prepare for a 100 mile race. It's called Run Rabbit Run. It takes place September 14th. Mark your calendars, that's a Friday. The gun goes off at noon and I'm going to attempt to run 100 miles in eh, 18 hours, I don't know, 17 hours, 19 hours, 20 hours, I have no idea. It's my first 100 mile race ever. And so before I jump into this final training block for Run Rabbit Run, the 100 mile race, I it's good for my own personal benefit to reflect on my training and running philosophy. Like what is, where am I at in my running philosophy? Here's a little bit of my background in running. I ran in high school, middle school, and, and in college. I walked on to the University of Colorado cross country team. Go Buffs, where's my shirt? I don't Go Buffs, go Buffs. So it was fun to run in college competitively. I got a lot faster in college, but then I took a lot of time off, about five, six years of basically very minimal running. And now as I'm 33, I'm really, really starting to dive into the ultra running world, which an ultra marathon is anything over 26.2 miles, just so you know. And so within coaching, there are trees of coaching. So in the NFL football, uh, there's like really three major coaching trees out there. At least that's the argument that's made. It's Bill Walsh, Marty Schottenheimer, and Bill Parcells. Those three crazy guys are kind of the, the go-to guys in the NFL coaching trees. And so in running, there's also a coaching tree. And I would argue that the biggest umbrella, the biggest coaching tree out there would have to go to this gentleman from New Zealand. And if you're a real running geek, you know his name, Arthur Lydiard, who is no longer with us, but he had a huge influence on my life because he impacted my cross-country coaching College, Mark Wetmore. Yeah, a handful of seconds faster this year, but this was basically a solo time trial. And uh, what Yom, did Arthur Lydia teach? He taught the pyramid system of training. Basically, if you're running anything over two minutes, so basically anything over 800 meters, uh, you need to develop your aerobic system, your aerobic base. And you're, I believe it's, I think it's if you're running over a 5K, 90% of your effort is going to be aerobic and then 10% is going to be anaerobic. And then if it jumps up to 10K, it's like 95%. And if you're running a marathon or further, it's like 99% aerobic, 1% anaerobic. Does that make sense? And so to develop your aerobic system, according to Arthur Lydiard, you need to do aerobic running where you're approaching the threshold of going into oxygen debt but you're not quite going into oxygen debt. Now, occasionally, yes, you need to go into oxygen debt on interval days, but overall, a majority of your training is going to be those days where you're running steady at a steady pace. For me, that's basically seven minute miles, uh, just steady for 15 miles, 20 miles, just steady. No intervals, no speeding up, no slowing down. That is how you develop your aerobic system over years and years and years of training. And I have found as an ultra runner now in 2018, that as a 33 year old, my aerobic system is doing pretty good now. Uh, it's pretty amazing at, that I feel like I'm the strongest I've ever been in my entire life aerobically at 33. Now, I don't have the speed anymore. I haven't developed my anaerobic speed and my leg turnover as much anymore, but my aerobic base is pretty solid. My running philosophy, my training ideology definitely falls under the Arthur Lydiard coaching tree. And guess what? It's not a secret anymore. Everyone trains like this now. Uh, now there are nuances for sure. There are nuances, but I would say like Alberto Salazar, 
uh, Jerry Schumacher, uh, Dave Smith. There's so many coaches. Of course, my old coach, Mark Wetmore. They all have uh, dabble. They all dabble in the Arthur Lydiard training ideology. So it's it's not a secret anymore. But now let me break this down into layman's terms. Just talking to you straight. <laughs> run hard and run easy. I am shocked when I get on Strava and I see how f how many people run hard or medium to hard all the time. And uh, it's just like weightlifting, okay? When you go to the weight room and you pump iron, you're breaking down, you're tearing down your muscles. You're literally hurting your body. And then, guess what? You don't go back to the gym because you're resting so that your muscles can rebuild. I am shocked when I get on Strava every single day and people are like running eight miles at eight minute pace on their easy day. I'm like, folks, you gotta stop. You gotta run less on your, okay, this is, I, you can tell I'm a little fired up about this because I see it all the time and it drives me crazy. You've gotta run hard, go run 20 miles at 7.30 pace, kill yourself, as run as hard as you can, and then if you're not running two and a half miles the next day, I'm gonna be upset with you. I'm gonna be upset with you in there, you two. <laughs> Strava, I'm gonna break you in two. I'm gonna all that aside. All, I'm okay. Okay, I'm 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 off my soapbox. I'm off my soapbox. I'm almost done. One last point, folks. Strength is key. Strength training is key for long distance running, specifically ultra marathons, but even marathons and half marathons. I'm telling you, strength is key. I have struggled in some races recently especially late in the race, on the uphills, and I'm learning that although I might have some speed in my legs, I don't have as much strength as a lot of other ultra runners. And so, that is another little nuance that I would strongly, strongly recommend to all of you out there, like consider strengthening your body. You don't have to be bulky, you don't have to have ripped muscles like a ton of strength. I'm just telling you, like your legs, your hips, your buttocks, your calves, your your hammies, your quads, your ankles, your feet, huh? <laughs> you gotta be strong, okay? This is something I have learned in the last 18 months that it's really, really important. Now, don't get bulky. I don't want you to look like a weight, a body lifter. We don't want to look like this guy. No, 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 no. That's not allowed. So to recap, I am a running geek. Yes, I am. I used to record on VHS, the Olympics. This is the 2004 Olympics. That's right, when I was in college, I recorded the Olympics on VHS, baby. That's what I'm, but I fall under the Arthur Lydiard coaching tree. I love the tree. I love aerobic training. Uh, I've learned over time how to mix it up with training at high altitude for these mountain races. Now that I, I'm focused more on mountain races. However, however, moving forward, I need to work more on strength and, and yes, on speed. I know, it's crazy, even though I'm attempting to run, you know, 32 miles, like, these guys are fast. 50 miles, these guys are fast. 100 miles, these guys are going to be fast. I know uh, that was a little bit of a rant. I went a little crazy there, but I just wanted to communicate to you the bigger picture of my running background, my running and training philosophy and ideology uh, that has developed over time. I definitely did not get into the details of my training and my outlook, outlook on training moving forward. I will make another video about what I think about the best strategy for strength training and interval training and mixing it all all up into your aerobic training as well. But that is not for today. That is for another video down the road. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And once again, I look forward to your questions down below. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow. Now go run, go, go. Get out of here, get out of here.